But first, we're going to begin with a dog that was wounded in a freeway shooting in Oakland. The dog has now died, hit by two bullets last night, and her presence may have saved the life of the driver. KPX 5's John Ramos says the survivor and the dog's owner had to make a difficult decision. About 7.30 Friday evening, David Freitag of San Leandro was eastbound on Freeway 980 through Oakland. He was taking his friend's dog, Layla, to Walnut Creek. And as usual, she was in her favorite spot, standing on the console between the driver and passenger seat. And there was a loud explosion and the glass like was flying everywhere. And uh, I saw that I was bleeding and you can tell. And um, I, uh, I pulled over and she was whimpering and I was bleeding and kind of in shock. The CHP says the freeway shooting left his rental car with nine bullet holes in it. And David ended up with fragments in his neck. But it was Layla who was more gravely injured, with damage to her spine and nervous system. Last night, David and the dog's owner, Lenita Nakaya of Alameda, waited at the veterinary hospital as the prognosis remained bleak. It's breaking my heart, and the thing is, it's costing an extreme amount of money just for one or one and a half days, over five thousand dollars. The vets want us to make a decision, and right now, I don't know if either of us are ready to make a decision. David quickly created a GoFundMe page, raising $2,500 in 14 hours. Lenita, who suffers from PTSD, says the four-year-old Basenji mix has been a godsend in helping her cope. And she's, she's, she's been wonderful, and she's been, people love her in Alameda where I live. They just would go come and talk to her. She talks to everybody. She's like the welcoming committee. Wherever I go, she says hello to everyone. But early this morning, the doctors determined that Layla's paralysis could not be reversed, and the decision was made to euthanize her. Many who donated say keep the money to help out with the vet bills, but that still leaves David with one question. I'd love to know why people do these things. You know, I, I, I have no enemies, so why would someone shoot at me? Why would someone shoot at anybody, and especially when they could probably see that there was a really nice dog in the car? Why, why would they do that? In Oakland, John Ramos, KPIX 5.